Lumabas ng Xiaomi 12T kasama ng Xiaomi 12T Pro. And this is the base variant na meron ng Xiaomi 12T series. E gusto natin malaman kung how this one would fare against the Pro version. Mas mahina ba siya na sobra-sobra? Or katamtaman lang good enough for daily use? And para sa mga mahilig sa camera and sa gaming, malalaman nyo lahat to sa full review natin ng Xiaomi 12T. Samahan nyo ako. So hi guys, I'm Paul Sirich from the Gadget Sidekick and welcome back to my channel. So andito sa harapan natin is the Xiaomi 12T. And ang box niya hindi pa rin nagbabago since the Xiaomi 10T. And still looks the same, white pa rin siya. So syempre simulan natin with a quick unboxing. Kita natin sa box, it's a 108MP na ultra clear camera. Ang claim ni Xiaomi. It's of course the Xiaomi 12T na nakaprint dito. It has 5G connectivity but of course syempre depende yan sa inyong network provider. On the side, it's a Xiaomi 12T nakasulat. And we have here is the black variant na may 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Meron pa siya isang variant, it's a 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. So this phone comes in pag-open itong box, may silver and may blue. SIM injector pin. Siyempre, hindi natin makakalimutan mga warranty card, quick start guide, and of course, safety information sheet. Ito ang kanyang basic na jelly case nakasama. Ito na ang phone itself, Xiaomi 12T. So, andito nakaprint lahat ng kanyang mga basic specs na kailangan nyo malaman, mga key selling point niya. So, balata mo na natin. So, basically, ang kanyang itsura is almost exactly the same as the Pro version, except na hindi nakaumbok ang kanyang camera and walang, and of course, walang sound by Harman Kardon nakaprint dito sa ibabaw. Yun lang difference. 120 watts na hypercharge charger, and of course, ang kanyang Type-C to A cable. And of course, ang kanyang Type A to Type C na cable. Ayun lang. Pag-usapan natin ang kanyang design. This phone is exactly almost the same dito sa Xiaomi 12T Pro. And like I said, ang kanyang difference is yung kanyang camera bump. And of course, ang print ng Harman Kardon dito sa babaw. The rest is exactly the same. Baka pwede mo pa kayo interchange ang kanyang casing kung uh, Pro ang nabili nyo. Papasok pa rin siya. Pakita ko to sa inyo. I have here is the Beetle case from Shandy. Na this is the Pro version and this is the non-Pro version. So we can see na yung sa Pro version umbok, the sa non-Pro version hindi umbok. Now uh, let's just simply try the Pro version dito. And I'll just simply show you na pwede mag-interchange. Yung nga lang, si Pro version hindi na pwede gamitin ng case ni non-Pro version dahil uh, banat na banat siya. And kita natin mga holes dito sa babaw, saktong-sakto. And kita natin dito sa likod, it's exactly okay. Except na medyo mas lubog kunti lang yung camera. But of course, if you nagkamali kayo sa shipping, malihan na pindutin nyo, okay pa rin kayo. Sa ilalim, well, exactly the same. And of course, ang kanyang mga buttons dito is exactly the same. So, okay to. Halos lagi ko sinasabi, it's nice to have a case na talaga mo pro-protect sa inyo. Especially when you're on the go. Na yung tipong mabagsak nyo lang or matamaan nyo sa mga kanto, okay lang. Dahil so, Shandy Beetle case that I've been using for quite a lot of years already, it's really something that I trust. Lalo na pag there are times na medyo nagmamadali ako na lalag ang phone ko, I feel safe together with this case. Si Shandy Beetle case. It's available at Shandy Philippines and Shandy Masangkay. Links on the description below. Bigyan ko lang kayo ng quick phone tour sa ilalim loudspeaker, microphone in, type C port, and of course, ang kanyang SIM tray. Isusundot lang natin ang kanyang SIM tray para makita kung ano configuration na meron nito. And pag bunot natin, makita natin may SIM 1 and may SIM 2. There's no micro SD expansion. 5G ang kaya nito, guys. Sa sides, meron siyang volume rocker and power button. Ang kanyang fingerprint scanner is nasa loob ng screen. Sa ibaba, of course, andyan ang kanyang second loudspeaker making steer speaker. Kanyang noise cancelling mic. And of course, andyan ang kanyang IR port. Pretty clean sa kabila. Itong phone na ito is being protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass 5 dito sa harap. And of course, this only has a plastic frames and sa likod is also glass finish. Now, itong phone na ito is packed with the MediaTek Dimensity 8100 Ultra. And of course, alam naman natin, this is being produced by TSMC. So, we know that it's more power efficient dahil sa kanyang manufacturing process. And of course, together with this is LPDDR5 and UFS 3.1 storage. 
giving you the maximum speed that you deserve when you buy this phone. And of course, the tong phone nito comes with MIUI 13 inside the Android 12. Well, like usual, the MIUI 13 is a heavily customized na Android. So expect natin a lot of features and of course, there are some quite some bloatwares in here, but of course, pwede naman burahin if you don't need it. It's all hidden in here. Ang 8100, the MediaTek Dimensity na Ultra, I believe that it's definitely a performer. We have seen it time and time again sa different devices na na-review natin in this channel natin. The 8100 can perform, be it sa gaming, sa camera, and of course, sa multitasking, it's definitely a breeze. Walang yung problema dito sa phone na ito. And checking its benchmark, Antutu version 9.4.4, this is the score, 778,000 points. Checking naman Geekbench, this is the score na nakuha natin. Not so bad. Swiping left and right, definitely it's very smooth thanks to its 6.67 inch na crystal resolution display na AMOLED. And of course, 120Hz of screen refresh rate. Also have the adaptive sync display, no? so it can switch between 30, 60, 90, and 120 Hz. And the maximum brightness can peak at 900 nits. This one also can reproduce up to 68 billion colors. And it also has true color display, HDR10+, and of course, and yan ang kanyang in-screen na fingerprint scanner. So you have the option na mag-switch between adaptive sync or you can customize it to what you want. Either you can switch from 60 or 120 hertz. Depende sa inyo kung anong gusto ninyo. But of course, uh, I would recommend you use the default or adaptive sync para mas makakatipig ng battery. In this one, you can also play with its color scheme. So you can... Uh, Put it to more saturated or or depende sa inyo, no, original color. But for me, sabi ni Xiaomi, you can use the vivid na scheme para, I guess, mas ma-appreciate nyo ang mga videos dito when you're watching it on YouTube, Netflix. This is what it recommends. So since this phone has a level 1 na Wi-Fi security level, playing videos on Netflix and of course other online streaming apps na in HD, Sisyong sisyong kayang kayang ito phone na ito. Watching videos on this one is definitely enjoyable and what I like about dito sa phone na ito is very thin ang kanyang mga bezel sa ibabaw, sa gilid, and of course sa ilalim. And another thing is that kanyang punch hole is quite small then, So definitely good job on that. Watching videos on this phone, I can say I was enjoying it every single bit dahil sa kanyang malaking na screen to body ratio at around 88%. And definitely, the display is nice. That's a kind of crystal resolution of AMOLED display. The black is blacker, colors are punchy. I love it. And definitely, it's probably one of the devices that I love watching movies on this. While watching the videos and listening to Spotify, I can see a kind of sound dito is quite okay. Probably not as loud as that, those uh, calibrated ni Harman Kardon. But overall, for me, this is quite okay na. And of course, for me overall it's quite okay but if you are not satisfied with it you can always use your favorite uh, TWS the Bluetooth to go together with this one and I would suggest that you try this watch Redmi Buds 4 Pro this is also one of the items that na released together with the Xiaomi 12T series Ang kanyang dual speaker is being calibrated by Dolby Atmos and I can say that it's quite okay uh, probably not the loudest that I've tried and maybe hindi niya kaya i-match yung sound quality though sa pro version but overall for me it's quite decent and quite okay but if you are not that satisfied you can always use yung mga TWS na available there in the market and I can recommend this one ang bago labas ni Xiaomi the Redmi Buds 4 Pro to go together with your Xiaomi 12T and this is one of the device na nirelease ni Xiaomi together with the Xiaomi 12 series of course stay tuned for my full review of this one. But the thing naman sa battery, generous naman ang binigay ni Xiaomi dito. It has a 120 watts of fast charging capability, 120 watts of hypercharge, I mean. And it also has a 5,000 mAh of battery inside of this one. And it's, for me, industry standard. 5,000, wala naman kailangan ipagmalaki. Maybe if you're 6,000 and magaling for more, well, I can be proud of that. And charging this phone from 0 to 100, it takes me just roughly mga 22 minutes quite fast and isang ligo lang naman yun, no? so definitely something that you would like to have especially when you're the type of person that always on the go, nagmamadali, lagi na sa meeting, laging wala sa bahay. 
Now, kind of battery endurance for me, it's quite okay. Maybe not that impressive. It can only withstand 10 and a half hours dito sa PC Mark na battery stress test. Kanya screen ng time. And using it on a daily basis, one whole day, walang problema. But if you were asking me if it can last you to the next day, maybe a little bit, maybe... I would suggest that it charge mo na lang muna siya bago ka luwas. Total, meron ka na 120 watts of fast charging. So, charging time is very, very few. So, definitely, you can charge this while you're taking breakfast. You can charge this while you're taking bath in the morning. Pag lawas mo ng banyo, 20 minutes, tapos na yung charging na ito. Wala ka nang ibang iisipin pa. And it can last you for another full day. Like any phones na meron Dimensity 8100, this phone is definitely gaming capable. Playing titles like Call of Duty, playing uh, Genshin Impact, Mobile Legends, PUBG, kain kain naman ito phone na ito. I can say na it can breeze you through gaming without any problem. Now, I was able to play Call of Duty Mobile on this one and I was able to enjoy every single moment na hawa ko siya. And yung kanyang touch response is definitely good. The viewing angle is quite nice. And of course, ang kanyang, uh, and of course, ang kanyang graphics is also okay. Playing the game, I was able to enjoy it for an hour and a half. And I can say na sa likod, medyo umiinit somewhere dito. So I would recommend you to get some type of cooler or maybe basa ko sa aircon room para medyo mag-dissipate ko tiyaga na init. But I can say na hindi naman siya nakakapasok but medyo sometimes nakairita lang naman. So pasyalan natin probably one of my favorite topics sa smartphone is of course trying the camera, the main camera sensor of this phone. It has a 108MP na wide angle camera. It's a Samsung Isocell na HM6. And of course, the aperture is 1.7. It supports OIS and ultra night mode. Together with it is a 8MP na ultra wide angle camera and 2MP na macro camera. And ang highest na video resolution it can take is a 4K 30fps na performance. Ang kanyang front camera is a 20MP na selfie shooter and it has a aperture of 2.24. It can also take in 1080p 60fps na video resolution. Tinan natin ang kanyang 108MP na mode. I was able to capture some shot and trying to zoom it to my heart's content. Now, I can say na some of these shots are really nice. Lala, if you want to check it out, something over the tall building or something along the uh, highway, you can zoom into your heart's content para malaman nyo kung ano nangyari doon sa scene na yun na nakapture nyo. Outdoor shots, I can say, okay, uh, definitely good. And of course, uh, most of these shots are really clear and quite impressive naman ang ka kanyang camera. Well, probably not to be compared sa mga Xiaomi 12, Xiaomi 12 Pro, uh, I can say na itself yung kanyang camera is nice but of course you can expect a little bit better from uh, the pro version. This one for me is okay but kahit pa naman yung mag-improve, maybe doon sa kanyang pro version might give you some better shots dahil 200 MP. Malalaman natin on my full review of the Xiaomi 12T Pro. Indoor low light shot, okay naman siya. Wala namang naging problema. Quite clear. Selfie camera, well, uh, outdoor is quite okay and of course indoor is also good as well. Now trying kanya front camera for vlogging, I was wondering kung bakit ganito ang kanyang performance. So maganda na kanya camera, I can say. But what I noticed is medyo jittery siya. Mapapansin mo throughout this video. I hope na i-correct ni Xiaomi to dahil this phone is definitely the performance kanya camera but having a jittery performance like this, well, medyo nakahinayang. And the video na nakuha ko dito for indoor na using the rear camera, shooting at 4K 30fps, quite stable ah, and I'm impressed dahil sa kanya OIS. And medyo makita nyo, malikot ang aking kamay, left and right, left and right. But of course, it was able to be stable, kaya okay na okay to. Except may kunting flicker din siya along the way. <laughs> Nawala pa ako official pricing na itong phone na ito sa Philippines. So guys, do stay tuned for my other videos because this phone, compare natin sa pro version para makita natin ng gusto, ang kind of difference. Probably sa price difference, it might be... Uh, uh, 
plus minus 5K. Well, halos ganun din ang 10T and 10T Pro, then 11T, 11T Pro. Nagkakatalo lang sila almost 5,000 pesos. So, makikita natin if your 5,000 pesos is worth to get the Pro or just stick to the non-Pro, okay ka na. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon para hindi na mamiss mga future uploads dito sa akin channel. So, ko pala Sir Chumon and you're watching Cats and Psychic. What's up?